Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to work with the Fresh Picked Angel Trumpets uh, from the More Fresh Picked Collection. This is a new release from Spellbinders. I, I love these Fresh Picked Collections. I love the flowers. They're um, wonky and large and I just love them. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders. There are links below for you to click on. When you do that and place an order, I receive a small commission and that's at no cost to you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. So I hope you enjoy this card that we're going to make today. Um, let's go through, I'm going to, just a few things that I'm going to use. I'm going to use foam squares, uh, medium and small, or large and small. And then I'm using this new embossing folder here. This is the Leafy Helix Embossing Folder from the Propagation Garden Collection by Annie Williams. Look at this embossing folder, so pretty. Really nice background. Really nice. It's not a 3D embossing folder. Okay, see where it doesn't say E3D here. It says SES. This is a, uh, you would run this through your embossing folder with our, um, your die cutting machine with not using like the D plate if you are on the Platinum 6. This is just a regular embossing folder. So it's kind of um, leafy and almost geometric through here also. So I think this, this is a lot of fun. I'll be using that a lot as a background. Um, also, to pair with this, I picked the Popular Sentiments. Uh, this is actually a Sealed for Christmas collection, but it has Happy Birthday and Thank You and Just a Note and that kind of thing in it. And so that's what I picked for this nice big Happy Birthday on here. I think it came out really cute. Now, in this, in the trumpets, in the center here, I'm going to show you, you can either use the color of the flower that you use, or they gave you, which I thought was fantastic, the centers right here see these three centers right here they gave you these to um, like cut another color so I made them yellow so I think that we will use those in this card now let me put this aside and all my of my other goodies and let's bring in our base here okay we have a lot of little little pieces now um, the other thing I wanted to show you was this die right here there are 15 circles and this pairs with these little stamens right here and each line is for one of these okay mine are all mixed up over here no big deal we'll figure it out um, it has like one large one in the middle and so but I just wanted to show that to you just like that so here's the embossing folder look at that isn't it just kind of geometric through here along with the leaves I love that and look at the deboss side the deboss side is actually gorgeous, right? It's beautiful also. We'll go ahead and put some glue down. Let's see how I do with this. <laughs> Every video. Oh my goodness. I cannot even. Okay, but you guys are used to this by now, right? I'm not. Okay, it actually gets on my last nerve. I, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But, you know. Got to just laugh and go through it. It is what it is. If this is the only thing I have to complain about, we're good, okay? <laughs> we are really good. Oh, my goodness. So my piece of yellow is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. I made it the full card front because look at this greenery. This is a full A2 size. Isn't that beautiful? I love that these, I love these Fresh Pick collections. They are just too much fun to work with. So here it is. Here it is cut out of beautiful green. We're going to go ahead and put this down first. And I'm going to go ahead and use just some liquid glue to put this down. And then here are all the little circles there are the landing parts for your flowers. At least that's what I call them. I don't know if they have a technical name. I just call it, that's where the flowers land. And it sure does help. Just adding my glue nicely through here. Okay, let's put some on the tip right there. Okay. 
Now we're just going to flip this over and almost like we're planting it on the bottom here and letting that just kind of fall to the top. Okay, just like that. It is absolutely perfect for the front of the card. Get a couple more blocks to hold this down. Oop, we need another one. Just like that. Okay, now let's scooch this over best we can. If I haven't glued it to the counter. Okay, there we go. Um, now, let's talk about the trumpets. So here we have th these dies. Okay, just like this. There's four. So, however that they match up here. Okay, just like that. Now, each of these has a flower. And, of course, in Spellbinder's loveliness, everything has a place. And there's a place for everything that is perfect. Okay? So just like this, I'm using a deep purple on this. I don't know. I just picked out colors. It doesn't matter. But however and whatever colors float your boat, go ahead and use them. So each and every trumpet has a flower. And it fits. Just, this is just like putting a puzzle together. No big deal. Okay. And I kind of just work it in there, just like so. Okay. Now let's see. This one, of course, I've got everything mixed up over here like crazy, right? Of course I do. Here we go. That's a small one. And it takes a large. Okay. So this goes in here. And as you see, I in the, in the other card, I used the center uh, being that deep purple. But now today, I think I'm going to use that yellow. I really kind of like that. Let's just look at that, okay? The yellow with the red and then this orange with the green. You know me. The more color, the better. So let's just do it. So I'll save these little purples for maybe another card, right? Just put this down in here. And like I said, this fits together perfectly like a puzzle. So if you have some space like that is not fitting properly, if it's not, I should say, this is fitting properly. If it doesn't fit properly, turn it. Okay. Just like that. And it, it, it's in there. That's why these are called etched dies because they are cut um, perfectly to fit inside and around, you know, just like a puzzle, just like that, okay? Just like that. Here we go. And now let's bring in one of these guys and we'll start to um, assemble the dots that I have all, mi all mixed up. Which, you know, if you were doing it, you might just want to um, watch how they come out, you know, or pick them out as you cut them, okay? But I'm not going to worry about it. But they do fit perfectly on here. And there are, like, this is a larger one. put that here. This one's kind of more round. Put it here. You know, just go through. Have fun. Make it pretty. Make your pretty pretty. And these are like, I don't know, I'll, I'll age myself at this point. Um, I, this is like picking up tiddlywinks. But of course the little um, tool helps. So if you have a little tool that would help. There we go. Cute, right? Now this then, my glue's not dry of course, but this goes right in the center. Like so. Oh my goodness, I think that looks so stinking cute with the yellow in the middle. Does it matter? I don't know. Like this one has the purple 
That one has the yellow. Either or, guys. I think the yellow shows through pretty well, so, you know, just have fun. This one right here gets this little, um, it's almost like a bow, okay? And again, it's going to fit perfectly. See how I'm turning it? Okay, this fits perfectly up there. Absolutely. And, um, but, okay, so my point with this one is you can use it just with this open, or I put a red backing on mine. And I'm going to just attach it here, just like so. Bring it close, just like that. And then a little bit of glue on the back. And I didn't put any crystal mix or anything on this because this is so cheerful and bright and there and it's busy it's a busy card you know so I just left it with the cardstock that I use now of course you know if you wanted to um, you could go ahead and ink things up and just have have a blast doing you know as much as you want so now here is good okay that's two now let's go to this little one right here okay so the teeny tiny circle goes to the top on this one. And this might be like right here is the back to this one, okay? It, on this die, this is the back to it, just like that. Oh, you know what? I didn't cut these out for the bottoms of my trumpets. I should have. But that's what those are for, too. Ooh, I even posted with the spellbinders, and I didn't put those on the bottom. Just left my trumpets open. But I guess that's okay. So right here, I missed those until just the second when I saw them. So this, I put mine on right here. Of course, like I said, you can use this, and you might, you know, do it in yellow or something like that. But I thought this one looked kind of cute, just purple and red. That is bothering me that I didn't cut these out. What color should I do that? Green? Yeah. Let me run that through real quick. Let me just get a piece of green really quick here. Okay, I'm gonna run this right through my, um, my Vagabond, which they don't make anymore. I hate that, but it is the, Part that I have okay so I'm saying that these little little half moons kind of thing I believe they go on and they do they like go on the bottom of this okay we'll do it for this card right here There's other electric die cutting machines that you guys can purchase if you want one. This one just has, has kept on working for me, so it's what I use. See, that goes right down there. That's adorable. Let's see what goes with what here. Oh, here we go. See, I just start going off of the... <laughs> it's like, oh, let me go ahead and craft some more. Yeah. Poke those through. And let me just show you, even though they're, it's the same color. Okay. Sorry that I missed that. But, hey, happy to craft with you guys and catch it. So, like, let's just say that that was a different color. Then you would put this on that. Okay, like that. I wonder if I could lift that up. Am I committed? No. <gasps> wow. Let's go ahead and put this on there. 
let's do this together, okay? <laughs> let's just have fun. Let's put this down. Cute! And now let's put our red. Boy, lucky that glue hadn't dried yet, and I caught that. Adorable. Whoop! The little goes on top. Just like that. Oh my goodness. That even makes it even sweeter, doesn't it? Look at how sweet that is. So adorable. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring this little guy back in. I have another half moon over here. And let's see who goes where. I'm saying that's small, so it must go on this one. Let's put it. We'll just do process of elimination, right? Yep. That goes there. Okay. Ooh. And let's see. This flower looks like it goes here. Does it? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Just like that. Then let me pick a yellow. And let's see if that one fits in here. Yes. Fits so well, I can't get it out, right? Okay. Put a little glue inside here. Ooh, I'm going to change my picture. Just like that. Oh, so cute. And then this one. Goes here. Adorable. I love it. Okay, let's move these guys to the side. Let's see which one fits here because this one's together. I think it's that one. Yep. Let's put this one on and then we'll do the top to that. Absolutely. Okay, this one's complete. Now let's put the bottom on this one. I think it's this one. Then this one's complete. Here we go. Just like that. Oh my goodness, they're coming together so nicely. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, this one will go on that when we're ready. Let's go ahead and put another one of these guys together. And we'll just put a little glue. Oh, I'm so happy I caught that. And honestly, if I wasn't making this video, I would not have caught that. Where's my other tool? We'll, we'll use this one. there. That looks a bit large. And just come through here and put these on. I think that's right. I think that's the inside of something. Yeah, there we go. And then this one here. Okay. Ah. Okay, there we go. Okay, put 
this here. And that one's complete. So now we have four out of the five completed. Let's do this one. Right here. And we'll take this. So just remember, this entire collection is a puzzle. And I happen to love puzzles. I always have. We'll put a little yellow in here. Maybe turn it. Yep. And it fits perfectly. There we go. And the red. That right there. Like I said, I'll save these insides, the deep purple that I used might use them on another card and that one too save that and here are my dots one two three four and five there we go and let's bring this in this I call the stuff that makes you sneeze the stamen has all the pollen on it right I found my tool. It was hiding. There we go. Or my other tool, I should say. And just use whatever you have and what you're happy with. But, you know, um, if you are crafting and not making a pile of stuff like I do uh, so that you know I can do my video you might want to you know keep these on the paper and in line and they just fit right across here quite nicely okay though because there's 15 of them those little dots okay and let's put this on this card is almost done you won't believe it it comes together so quick once you put everything together here we go. Just like that. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. Look at them all. How cute. How sweet did they come. I love that. Let me put a little bit of um, foam back here. I'll just get the ones that I cut, that I snipped myself. And put a couple pieces here. There we go there. Get my happy birthday ready, right? This is a cute happy birthday card. I'm just picking the paper off of the back of the strip over the trash can. Don't have too much cleanup. Right there. Good. Just like that. Okay, now that's ready to go. And I think we're ready right here. And let's bring this in. Okay. So, this one will go here. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look, that looks so much better than these just being open and plain like that. Oh, I have to change my picture. Okay, so let me get my foam. I'm going to put a little one down here. And then a big one up here. 
and we'll just attach it. Nice. Then we'll put this larger one, goes here. Okay. And I'll put a little one right here. Just like that. And let's see. This itty bitty one goes here. Oh my goodness, how sweet. And then this one. Put another little piece down here. Put that one here. And then the last one right there. And guys, we have it except for our happy birthday. I appreciate crafting with you guys. Thank you so much. This came out even cuter. Even more cute. What is it? Cuter? More cute? There we go. Okay, now, happy here. I'm going to kind of center this because this is long. And then birthday. Right here. Let me take some of this off because it's going to land where that's already popped up. Just like that. Perfect. Let me just sneak a little glue behind here to um, let that secure down. Just like that. And then that will stick. And here's our happy birthday card for today. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see that what that other die did. And I appreciate doing it with you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will definitely see you next time. Thanks again.